Hey, welcome back to our site build course where we're building a site from scratch on camera to show you exactly how to do it so that you can go from, from not even an idea to a fully developed site in no time at all. It's very simple to do. First video, we picked a niche. My niche was home decor. I encourage you to pick your own niche so that you can also have a completed site when this course series is done. It will be such an accomplishment if you've never done that before or never made a really professional looking one. So I encourage you to pick your own niche. My niche was home decor. Last video, we did a lot of keyword research. We came up with, I think about 600 keywords. We clustered them, grouped them all, built out eight different categories. I guess nine categories if we're including the hundred and some articles that are going to be product roundups. And then we converted those keywords into actual titles to write about. This video, we need to pick a domain name for our site. And then the next couple of videos, we'll do uh, hosting, setting up WordPress and all that good stuff. And then finally writing some articles. So this video is all about choosing a domain name. Couple different ways to go about doing this. Some people like to pick expired domain names. Some people will pay a lot of money for expired domain names. I don't encourage you to do that unless you really know what you're doing. But for most people that are watching this series that are just getting started, they just want to know how to create a site. Those will not be very useful to you and to spend a lot of money on a domain name. So that brings us to finding a domain name that has expired or that might have a couple backlinks or just choosing a brand new domain name. Both of them are viable options especially for my particular site where a lot of my traffic is going to be coming from Pinterest. So let's queue up the domain name finder inside of Zimwriter. And then while that's working, we'll look for some expired domain names too. So I'll click on AI Vault and I'll click on bulk niche generator. Now we use this in the first video to come up with different niche ideas, but this can also be used to come up with some really cool brandable domain names. So let's type in our concept home decor ideas. Let's just duplicate this a bunch of times and we'll say uh, home decor domains. I'll go over here and choose, I'm going to choose, let's choose GPT 4.0 and we'll tell it to go. So while that's generating, I'm going to go over here and use Spamzilla. Now this is completely optional. Spamzilla is a way to find domains that have been recently deleted and then look at kind of some different factors like the domain rating inside of Hrefs, how many backlinks it has, the trust flow, all kinds of different metrics and things like this. I use this a little bit. I don't register enough domains and create enough sites because I'm too busy making Zimwriter. I don't do, use this enough to really justify the expense of it, but it's 30 bucks a month or something like that. Something to look into if you are going to spin up five sites a month or 10 sites a month. So I apply a filter in here and you can copy my settings if you want to. I just want .com actually. Just .com, I want a Spamzilla score up to 20. When it gets over this, the domain's just been polluted. I'll explain what that means. Then I want to look for domain ratings inside of href of five or above. I think that's all I'm really filtering by. Deselected these things too. So that's done. Let's apply the filter. And now we don't get a lot in here. All right, but let me put in, put in decor and start looking. So we have a couple ideas, my country decor, and you can also, what's cool is you can filter by keywords. So you can say, I want something with decor inside of the keywords, and then we'll remove this. We have a lot more in here. This has been snapped up. This has been snapped up. Let's see, trust flow, sort by that first of all. See, I don't want some of this stuff. Like some of this stuff, first of all, might be somebody's name. They might've just accidentally dropped it. I'm not going to register somebody's name because then they could come after me. But I don't want to register something that just doesn't make any sense. Nats, Natsy by design like that. I don't know. That just seems kind of lame to me, even though the domain rating is kind of high for these. Let's see here. Details by Chelsea. Just looking here. Designer affair. That looks interesting. That's pretty interesting. See what happens when it gets too high, when this Spamzilla score gets too high. Like I can show you if we take this and we put this into the site explorer inside of hrefs, although you can use this in other tools too. You can look at the backlinks to this. 
So we'll look at uh, the backlinks. And you'll first of all get an idea for what this site was about, because right now Google has said that if you're trying to revive a domain and it's like outside of the field that it previ previously was in, you're not going to get any bonus points for that. So it looks like tribal jewelry, all right, painting. So tribal art, so something to do with tribal design. And that's not really about my site, although it is in the design niche. It looks like I would have to revive some stuff. So not bad links, to be honest, but Nazi by design. So then what you can do is you can take the domain and go to archive.org and look at it, put it in here. And I'm sure there's a bazillion more factors to look at. I am not an expert by any means of buying expired domains. So drop a comment down below if you think there's some better ways to go about this. But this is what I've done. I've had success with registering both new domains and expired domains. At the end of the day, after the helpful content update for what I'm doing. I don't know if it's a big deal to, to find an expired domain, but I have the subscription. I might as well check. So I can't really see what the site looked like before. It's not showing me. Let's open up another one. So some kind of tribal design thing, some good backlinks. I bookmarked this to designer affair. It's not like designers having affairs. Let's try this and let's go to Ahrefs. Real Housewives of New Jersey, Dina Manzo focuses on event plan, interior design. I like that. So we have a do follow link from a DR87. That's pretty cool. And it's right to the homepage too. So I don't have to like revive a particular page. So this is like a nonsense right here. So a lot of people will, if you look at your backlink profile for your site, you'll see crap like this. It's not helping you at all. Best 30 architects. Another one, EW. Wow. That's a no follow though. That's still pretty cool. I like this designer affair. I'm probably going to go with this. What I would do, and now this is not legal advice in the slightest, but what I do is I would go to trademark search, just go to Google type in trademark search, click here and then click trademark search. I would put the name of the domain in here, not designeraffair.com. I would put in designer affair, both words separated by a space, see if you get anything. And if you don't, then I put it in combined, get designer. So I feel pretty good about this, that no one's going to come knocking on my door. If I were to register this domain, obviously not legal advice, your mileage will vary all that good stuff, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's see what the AI came up with. And again, you might not want to get Spamzilla. You might not want to buy an expired domain. And we can check by the way. So all this stuff on Spamzilla, these are all available. So they should be just 10 bucks a year. I can take this, go over here to names. So I register all my domains on name, Namecheap. And Namecheap is just where I register everything. So this is available it's 10, 10 bucks a year. That's great. All right. But yeah, I would register everything at one registry. And I like Namecheap because they're not like these other providers that are a little bit more questionable. Um, I'm not going to name, name which daddies I'm talking about. So let's go to our niche generator, home decor domains. Perfect. That's what I wanted. If you haven't followed along with the previous videos, this tool right here, the, the niche finder inside of Zimwriter is a phenomenal, phenomenal tool to come up with different ideas for a concept. So the concept we put in was home decor ideas. And for each concept you put in, you'll get five website ideas. Now we duplicated this concept multiple times. So we have even more ideas to work with, but you can use this because you could be thinking, I have one keyword that I want to go after, like my primary keyword, but I don't know how to build a site around that. This will give you different ideas, help get those juices flowing. Say you could make something called timeless tranquility, just Dis discovered classic and serene home decor ideas that stand the test of time and create a peaceful living environment. That could be the theme of your site. And here are some potential categories. Okay. We're not doing any of that because we've already found our niche and we've already built uh, our different keywords that we're going to write about and we have our categories all we want is some website ideas so filter by websites come in here get this list and i'm going to go over here to back to namecheap and open up a new window and i'm going to search using beast mode you'll put all the domains in here we'll hide unavailable and we don't want to see premiums and we'll generate You'll find that a lot of these domains that Zimwriter generated will in fact be available. 
Now, what would I pick? If I wasn't using Spamzilla, then I would definitely just pick one of these. I pick one that sounded really nice. I wouldn't, and I wouldn't sweat it. I just move on to the next thing because the goal today is now to be creating a lot of these websites. This course that I'm doing right here is not about creating one baby, one website that you're going to baby that you're going to hold. And then Google's going to slap. That's not the purpose of this course. This purpose of the course is to help you learn how to build a site quickly, efficiently from nothing to have a finished site and then move on to the next one. That's what this course is all about. So here's a lot of different ideas that are available. Modern nest blog, Co cozy cottage charm. That's hey, that's pretty cool actually. Now what I would do is I'd still go back to the trademark search and I'd put in cozy cottage and I'd see. So we have cozy cottage collects. Now there's a lot of not acting as an attorney here, all this stuff, but you'd have to figure is that too close to some of these that a lot of these are dead and they're no longer in effect, but you'd have to do your own due diligence if you want to go with something like that. Where'd the list go again? There it is. Vintage Vibes Decor, Cozy Nook Inspirations. That's pretty cool. Personal Haven Home, Family Nest Decor, Vintage Charm Interiors. Oh, I like that. Family Friendly Decor. That's pretty neat. Cozy, although it's a little generic. So I would, you know, if you don't have um, Spamzilla, which you don't need, it's completely optional, then I would just pick one um, and you don't have another way to come up with a domain idea. Just go in ZimWriter, do what I did, go to the, the niche generator, put in some different ideas. You can put in up to 200 of them. And for each one you put in, you'll get five different website ideas. So you could theoretically have what 1000 domains to, or websites to, to potentially pick and choose from very easily to come up with ideas quickly. But I'm going to go with this domain here, this designer affair. Let me pause the video. We got the domain purchased. I am now the proud owner of designeraffair.com for one, at least one year. And I'm just in, that's another question. Do you do it for a year? Do you do it for 10 years? Look today, you don't know what's going to happen with the domain name. Just put it on auto renew, go for one year. Doesn't make any sense to bump it up to, to five years, 10 years or something silly like that, unless you you have a specific reason for it. Just put it on a year and, and see what happens. If this site that we create ends up not doing anything, if I was not doing this as a public site, if I was doing this as a private site, put it up for a year and register it for a year and then see what happens. Do you start making some money on it? Do you earn your return on investment? If so, renew it for another year. If not, just let it go. No harm, no harm in just letting the thing go if you're not getting any traction after a year. That's it with the domain. Exciting. We have our domain now. We have our keywords. We have our niche, everything we need. All we need to do now is get our host and start setting up WordPress and then queue up all of our articles. So we still have a lot to do in the coming videos. I hope you're doing this along with me. I hope you've now also registered a domain name. You've got your niche, you've got your keywords, you've clustered them all, and now you have a domain name. Next, we'll get our host and then we'll start setting up WordPress. This is the really fun part. We've done like kind of the boring stuff a little bit. Now we get to the really fun stuff. Drop a comment down below if you have any other advice in terms of looking for a domain, stuff that I missed, or things you found useful. Links to links to ZimWriter down below. There's links to Keyword Chef down below. There's links to the Facebook group with 13,000 members in it down below. All kinds of links. Check them all out. Tune in for the next video. Can't wait to see you there. Talk to you later.